Bond energies or mean bond enthalpies can be used to estimate delta H of reaction for gas phase reactions. Okay, so for example, H2 plus Cl2 gas gives you two HCl gas. You can, you can calculate the energy needed to break one HH bond and then the energy needed to, you can look these up, okay, the bond dissociation energy to break one CLCL bond and then uh, if you define Z as the energy release when HCl bond is formed, then delta H for this reaction is just a X, X plus Y minus 2Z. Why is that? This is the energy needed. So if X, Y, and Z are just absolute values, these are positive numbers, okay? So this is the energy needed to break the HH bond plus the energy needed to break the CLCl bond. How many HCl bonds are you forming here? Two, right? So minus two times the energy needed, energy release when an HCl bond is formed. So there's a negative there because bond formation is exothermic. So it's really just the sum of the bond energy for dissociation, for bond breaking, right? Sum of the bond energies for breaking bonds minus the sum of the bond energies associated with the bonds that are formed, so bond formation. So this works really well for gas phase reactions for estimating. So let's look at this. The reaction enthalpy can be estimated using bond energies for which of these reactions, A or B. What's the difference between these two reactions? This one's a liquid and that's a gas. Everything else is the same. So, what's the answer? Bond energies, you can only use that to estimate delta H for gas phase reactions. Everything in the gas phase, okay? So, the answer is B. All right, so let's consider this reaction right here. Methane plus oxygen gives you CO2 plus 2H2O, okay? Let's say we've looked at, we've looked up the bond energies to be W for CH bond, X for, for a double bond between two oxygens, Y for a double bond between carbon and oxygen, and Z for an OH bond. What's the delta H for this reaction in terms of W, X, Y, and Z? Okay, so how many CH bonds would you have to be breaking here? Four, right? Your methane is CH4. You have four CH bonds. So you're going to have to need your, so your delta H will have to involve a term that says 4W, right? So you can eliminate choice A and B right away. <laughs> but uh, let's finish this up anyway. Let's verify that C is in fact correct. Uh, oxygen, how many oxygen, oxygen bonds would you have to break? What's the lowest structure for O2? So that's one oxygen, oxygen double bond, and you have two of those. So you're gonna need two X, right? So this is the delta H for bond breaking. Okay, what would be the delta H for bond formation? Okay, how much, how much Energy would be released in forming carbon dioxide. What's the lowest structure for carbon dioxide? You got two C double bond O's. So how many CO bonds do you, are you forming? CO, you have one CO2, so two CO bonds, right? One, two. So that's going to be two Y would be released, so you have to put that as negative 2y, so minus 2y. And then how many OH bonds are you going to form? What's the structure for water? H, O, H. How many OH bonds? Four total. That's, uh, you got two water molecules, so yeah, yeah. H O H. So you have one, two, three, four OH bonds. So four Z.
Okay, so OH bond energy is Z, so minus 4Z. So that would be your estimated delta H for that reaction. 